Hello everybody, 90 Nana Days. Happy Saturday. Hope everybody's doing all right. I'm doing pretty good. Vivi's getting into having a little sniffing contest with something. Not sure what it is. But anyway, let's talk about Lion Lips Bobert, shall we? Let me turn this around here. Oh, there she goes. You're having a back rub there, la. There she goes. Rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Anyway, here we go. All right. So we're going to talk about Lauren Bobert. Now, apparently she's a little too uneasy because Democrats seem to be making a little bit of noise in her district and some of her Republican followers aren't following. So she's a little concerned about Adam Frisch's uh, gain in the poll there. So while she was on her time off, she did a couple things this summer. And one of them was traveling around her district to get up and close and personal with her constituents. The other thing she was doing, we'll get to in a minute. So old Lion Lips decided she was going to go and talk to all her people and drive home the, the points and everything else and all the other fascist shit that the Republicans are on about. So Lauren decided to get herself a new boy toy. And apparently, and this shocked the hell out of me, he's a Democrat. Imagine. Can't imagine where his head's at, though. Um... You'll know where his head's at in a minute. I'll just get to that, too. So anyway, she decides that she's going to support community theater. So she goes to see um, the musical Beetlejuice. And she was having such a good time. She really was. She was sitting there singing her brains out and woohooing and doing all the things she does in Congress, basically. And just singing really loud and vaping. Yeah, uh, apparently there was a pregnant lady, seven months pregnant, sitting behind her. And she leaned forward and she said, could you please not vape? She said, because I'm seven months pregnant and I don't want to breathe in your vape smoke. She told her to get a life. Yeah, and the boyfriend, trying to clear the matters up, this is how sensitive he is, he offered to buy her booze at intermission. Yeah. Offered to buy her liquor. Because all pregnant women drink booze these days, right? Well, not the ones that care about their babies anyway. And aren't they the family, the family values friggin' party or something? So anyway, yeah, the two of them are sitting there. And she's vaping off. Then she starts, it's a rule when you go to theaters. Or you go to a live concert. You don't take pictures. You don't take pictures in a theater. Because the flash disrupts the actors and it's taking away copyright stuff so you don't take pictures there she is taking selfies with her new boy toy and he's sitting there and he's snuggling up to her and apparently the other thing that she got this summer was a new pair of chess toys that's right and they're pretty big chess toys I'm just saying and you know the new boy toy, he likes chess toys. I could tell he liked them a lot because he had his hands all over her chess toys. He was just a rubbing and she was pushing into him. Yeah. Well, it got too much for everybody in the theater and they complained. So the ushers, they were warned at intermission to stop it. They wouldn't stop it. And she came back in and she kept vaping. So they asked her to leave. So what did she do? She lied about it. And she said, oh, no, I wasn't doing that. That was the smoke coming off the stage. Coming off the stage, you'd be coming this way. Her smoke was going this way. Then she got caught red-handed. So then she started, oh, I'm so terribly sorry. Because she was so hammered. I'm, I'm, a, I'm guessing she was hammered. I really am. But she just... As soon as they asked her to leave, the first thing that come out of her mouth is, Do you know who I am? If it had been me, I would have said, Yeah, and I'm disgusted. Get out. That's what it would have come out of my mouth. So anyway, yeah, she got asked to leave and then put on the big thing on uh, Twitter X there, or whatever the hell you're going to call it. I don't even care anymore. But uh, yeah, telling everybody on her socials that, it's such a good play. If you get the chance, go see. Let me know how it turns out. <laughs> yeah, well, ha, 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 You got caught red-handed. You 
are an ignorant old, <laughs> yeah, me, ma, get your shit together. That's what I'm saying. Me, ma, Lauren. Imagine. So, yeah, and then she lied her ass off about it. Go figure. Are you surprised? That's why I call her Lion Lips Bobert. All she does is lie about stuff. So anyway, yeah, she got a new boy toy, a new chest toy. So that's what's going on with her. But yeah, imagine telling a uh, pregnant woman, telling her to stop vaping, and she told her to get a life. Anyway, that's the story. Got another one. I think I'm going to do a lion for Jesus tomorrow. Got something to do with Christy Gnome. Yeah. Anyway, Naughty Nana loves you. Be good, be safe, take care of you, and don't forget to subscribe. Love y'all. Mm-hmm.